Hello, my name is Trevor Glass and I'm a market development specialist at Bayer Crop Science. Right now we're going to take a look at the diseases in pulse crops. We'll take a look at the key diseases in Western Canada for these crops, the problems they pose for growers, weather and other favorable conditions for disease development, and the available tools to help growers manage their disease concerns. Ascochyta blight is one of the most dangerous diseases in chickpeas and lentils. It overwinters on crop residue and seed and is characterized by spotted shriveled seed and there's discoloration of both leaves and stems. Ascochyta blight will infect chickpeas in two different fashions. First through the sexual cycle which will arise from crop residue. Infected crop residue will uh, release spores which will land on the crop and cause infection. The second way will be through the asexual cycle which starts with infected seed. Infected seed will pass the pathogen onto a seedling and then will transfer from the seedling stage to the adult stage of the chickpea. Anthracnose is a, a very important disease in lentils. It is carried by crop residue for up to four years. Infections are rain splashed onto leaves and stems. It can be extremely destructive under hot and humid conditions. As the canopy closes, lesions will appear on the stems and as it spreads, there will be yellow patches in the field with brown dead plants in the center. It's more prevalent in green lentils. Red lentils generally have stronger genetic resistance to this disease. White mold is an important disease in lentils and chickpeas. It has a life cycle similar to sclerotinia and canola. Overwintering sclerotia bodies can survive in the soil for many years. They produce apothecia on the soil surface. Lodged plants can come in contact with these sclerotia bodies on the soil surface or they can come in direct contact with other infected plants. Infection is very patchy within fields but it can also be windborne. This disease has a very wide host range with lentils, chickpeas, canola, soybeans and dry beans all being susceptible to sclerotinia infections. Tight rotations around these crop types can lead to severe outbreaks. Botrytis gray mold is a lentil disease characterized by premature ripening. Infections look brown with gray moldy growth on the surface of the plant. Infections start in petals and are transmitted to the pods. Pods turn brown, don't fill, and result in lost yield. Stem infections can also result in significant yield loss. Botrytis is prevalent in wet, cool weather. This disease can spread from infected crop stubble, windborne spores, or direct plant contact from infected plants in more dense canopies. Mycosphorella blight, also known as Ascochyta foot rot, can be devastating for pea growers. This disease causes yield loss up to 50%, often seen on leaflets, but stem infections are also a major concern. This disease can live on crop residue for multiple years, and that is the primary source of infection. Mycosphorella blight is brought on by cool, wet weather. It will infect all parts of the plant, including stems, leaves, and pods. Crop residue is the primary source of infection for diseases in pulse crops, but with use of good agronomic practices, you can minimize the spread of disease. Extended crop rotations, seed treatments, and fungicides are now the most reliable options for reducing and controlling diseases in these crops. Proactive disease management is very important in all crops, but it is extremely important in pulses. Unchecked, diseases can spread very rapidly which can lead to significant economic loss in a very short period of time. A proactive fungicide application is your best defense. For more information on pulse diseases and fungicide application, visit BayerCropScience.ca or talk to a Bayer Crop Science representative or your local retailer.